Hey family, Shabbat Shalom, and welcome back to Shabbat in Your Home. I'm Joel Wilbur, and it's such a joy to be with you today. On my favorite day of the week, Shabbat, a day of rest. What an amazing gift God has given us to be with our family. We have received messages from so many of you who wish that they didn't have to work on Shabbat. I just encourage you to do what my dad did years ago. Pray and ask the Lord to open up a new door in your life. We serve a living God who not only hears us, but answers our prayers. Now let's join Pastor Nathan and Malky as we welcome in the Shabbat and invite God's presence at the Lord's table. Welcome to the table of the Lord. This is when Yeshua declared the new covenant was being made with us, with the pouring out of his blood. And on every Shabbat, we remember that what he did for us. And so let's gather our families together and welcome in the Shabbat. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kitshanu b'mitzvotah v'tzivanu lehiotor legoim v'natan lanu et Yeshua meshicheinu or haolam. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe. You have sanctified us with your word. You commanded us to be a light unto the nations, and you gave us Yeshua our Messiah, who is the light of the world. Father, you are welcome in this place. Thank you, Lord, for giving us a day to rest in you. We thank you for your shalom over all of our homes, Lord. Everyone who's watching here, thank you that you invade our homes with your presence. <clears throat> we love you and we honor you today, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And then Yeshua lifted up the cup. It was his blood representing what he was going to do, which was to wipe away all of our sin and the shame associated with that sin. And so that we can come boldly to the throne of grace and call out, Abba, Father. And it's only through the name of Jesus that we are able to do that. And so let's pray this prayer that he prayed. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, borei pri hagafen. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who brings forth the fruit from the vine. Yeshua, we thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you for your blood, which washes away all of our sin and the shame. And we honor you tonight. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. And then he lifted up the bread to heaven. And he prayed this prayer in Hebrew. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam hamotzi lechem min haaretz. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who brings forth the bread from the land. We thank you, Yeshua, for your body that was given for us. Thank you for making us whole today. Thank you for your provision that you provide above and beyond all we could yes, think, hope, or ask. And we thank you and we remember your sacrifice for us until you return. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. And now let's gather our families together and just pray a, a blessing over them real quick. Father, I thank you so much yes. for my wife. Thank you, Lord, for the blessing that she is for my household. Thank you for all that she prepares and that she works hard with her hands. Lord, I'm asking that you bless everything that she puts them to, that you, oh Lord God, would be given glory yes. in my household. Lord, and I thank you um, for her life and, and just so grateful for all the blessings that you have given uh, to me. And we invite you into our house. We thank you for your presence that's here with us yes. right now. And Lord, we just pray for everybody that's watching right now. We ask that you would come and inhabit our praises yes. as we worship you, the King of all kings and the Lord of all lords. In Yeshua's name, amen. Amen. Spirit of the sovereign Lord, come and make your presence known.
Everybody, welcome back again to Shabbat in your home. And this is Nathan, the 37th day mm-hmm. of counting the Omer. What why are we counting these days? What's the what's the deal? We're counting the days between Passover and Pentecost. So why why are we bothering to do that? Well, it's uh the feast of Shavuot. Shavuot means weeks. And we've been building up from Passover. We're counting um, the buds that are coming on our harvest because you know that the... um, Oh, the first fruits thing. Right. So we're dealing with agricultural uh, wording. So sometimes, you know, we're trying to figure out, well, what does that mean for me? I have a job. I kind of work. There were uh, three big feasts where a big offering was brought from all the people. All the families would gather their harvest together and they would come to the temple and they would offer this before the priests. So the families right now are kind of going through their harvest to make sure that the best is brought to the Lord because mm-hmm. we're not just supposed to bring, you know, just a little kibbles and bits or yeah. something like that. It's- we're bringing a, a gift to a mm-hmm. king, huh? So uh, you bring your best. There's there's a lot in there. But today is the 37th day. Now, remember, something very special happened on the 40th day, um, it was the ascension. Huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 40 days after the crucifixion, mm-hmm. we see in Acts chapter 1, Yeshua, Jesus, is standing with his disciples on the top of the Mount of Olives, kind of a launch pad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, they, he's speaking to them about the last days and, and what is going to happen. They have one question for him. Lord, will you now, at this time... Restore the kingdom to Israel. Restore. Mm-hmm. And um, that's a, another 18 messages in itself. He basically says to them, I don't want you to be concerned about that. Basically says, I am going to restore the kingdom to Israel. Right. Remember, Jerusalem is the throne of the king. So we are on our way to one of those big feasts that you spoke about. And again, it's uh, called in Hebrew Shavuot. Mm -hmm. And how do we know it in the Greek and the Latin? Yeah, it's Pentecost. Pente means 50. Yeah. It's 50 days after uh, Passover. Right. So we we count the days. And remember, back on that mountain, this is the point I was trying to get to before I interrupted myself. Jesus said, I don't want you to be concerned about the day, but I want you to stay here in the city. There's a big feast coming Mm -hmm. and and wait because there's a gift that I have for you. 
And I want to, that's a good segue. I, I left the elements here on the table from the opening of Shabbat for a reason. Um, these represent something, obviously. You've heard week after week, the body, the blood, in traditional Judaism, the, the provision and the joy, they have different applications. But for us who are followers of Yeshua, the Messiah, this is obviously Passover. We celebrate his body and blood every week. And that is the big C word that I want to get to for just the next couple minutes. Now, I didn't quiz you on this, but do you know the word I'm going for? The big C word, covenant, covenant. And it's interesting that every Shabbat, you're inter reiterating a couple elements. One, you're, you're reiterating what um, the sacrifice Jesus uh, did for us. Two, you're reiterating his provision in your household. You're, re you're bringing the memory of the, the wife or the woman of the home's position in the house. So there's the honor of the wife. You're bringing the blessing and prayers upon your children and also praying for the husband, the dad of the household. So I love that Shabbat, every week you're getting around the table, you're reiterating these things that are so important. Uh, they're very important elements in the covenant and the kingdom of God. Yeah. So in the couple minutes that we have left, I want to share with you on covenant. We're not going to be able to get to it in its fullness, but here's the promise. Now, Jesus told the disciples, wait here, wait in the city, because there's a, a promise coming. And immediately our minds go to Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. the promise of the Holy Spirit. There's This promise has been foreshadowed, obviously, in the scriptures. So in a very famous passage, listen to these words. In Jeremiah 31, in verse 31, he says, the time is coming, declares the Lord, when I will make a new big C word with the house of Israel, a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their forefathers when I took them by the hand to lead them out of, the e uh, lead them out of Egypt. Don't make the mistake that this new covenant destroys what came before. Revelation and covenants are pointing towards someone, huh? Mm -hmm. And and uh, prophecy is linear. It's not just you going along and all of a sudden it drops on you and everything that came before it is null and void, passed away, done away with, but fulfilled. And so we take another step mm -hmm. and here's what he continues to say. Um, they, they broke my covenant though I was a husband to them that's a clue about what we spoke about last week. We were talking about Sinai being an altar, a marriage altar. And I really struggled with not going further on that this week. But as we get closer and closer now to uh, Pentecost, Shavuot, I wanted to put a couple more things in our, in our bag to carry with us. I was a husband to them, declares the Lord. Yeah, I have to resist those thoughts. This is the covenant, big C, I will make with the house of Israel after that time, declares the Lord. I will put my Torah, hello, in their minds. Does that sound like an, uh, something that's been done away with hmm? or something that has been amplified? I will write it, my Torah, on their hearts. I will be their God. There's that promise again. Remember in Exodus 6, the last of the four promises that represented by the four cups of Passover. So much goes back to Passover. It's really kind of our foundational mm -hmm. um, understanding of covenant. And uh, you will be my people. So this word covenant is expressed in a lot of different ways. It's expressed here at the table, and obviously, as, as we remember the body and blood of Yeshua, this is the expression of the new covenant and what was done for us. This is my body given for you. 
This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Receive it, all of you. But that word covenant, Nathan, mm -hmm. is a very important word. It's mm -hmm. expressed in us, in the life of Israel, in the scriptures, in other ways. Yeah. It's expressed in marriage. The blood covenant is expressed mm -hmm. in marriage, and it's intended to never be broken. I have never attended a, a marriage ceremony, and this isn't to beat up those who have had the pain and suffering of divorce and breakup and discouragement yeah. and disappointment and all that. But we, we all said the words, until death do you part, because it is a blood covenant. Yeah. Covenant is forever. And interesting, that word in Hebrew is blit. That's what I was about to get to. And it's also a part of the male son. When he's born, eight days after he's born, there is a blit. Mm -hmm. There is a cutting yep. because the son is being uh, is being declared as a covenant and, and separated unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. The first, the first male mm -hmm. that um, that comes into a family is uh, redeemed, mm -hmm. has to be redeemed according to the Torah. That covenant, that blood covenant, yeah. again, is born in our bodies mm -hmm. uh, as we marry, as we uh, dedicate and redeem mm -hmm. our sons, our children. Mm -hmm. It's here at the table because covenant is the foundation. Now that word brut means to cut where blood flows. Mm -hmm. And so Yeshua, Jesus knows very well that when he says, this is the cup mm -hmm. of the new covenant, that it's gonna cost, there has to be blood in order to make the covenant. But it's interesting to also point out that we consider the new covenant, we call it new covenant in Hebrew, brit chadasha. Mm -hmm. So there's that word again. It's a constant reminder that there was um, a covenant. There was a cutting away. There was blood mm -hmm. made as an atonement for our lives so that all of our sin, our sin, uh, shame would be washed away. And then you go right back to what you're talking about. There's the, the brit when a son is born. There's mm -hmm. a brit when there's a marriage, mm -hmm. there's a bleat for what Yeshua did for us. So you see, it's a constant reminder of this covenant that we're making together. Yeah, I wanna encourage you tonight that God has sealed this covenant promise with you. He's taken his word, his Torah, his, his revelation according to his word here, and he has impressed it on your mind and he has cut it inscribed it into your heart so that you and I, then with the giving of the Holy Spirit on the Feast of Pentecost where we celebrate, oh man, like Pastor Stovall, give me, give me 20 more minutes, huh? Um, where there is the, uh, the giving of the word, the Torah with Moses on top of Mount Sinai, but also on that same day in Jerusalem, the outpouring of the Spirit gives us the power to be sons and daughters of God. And here's the last thing I want to say. He seals it with his blood, which means he promises he will never break it. It is till death do we part. He will never break his covenant. What he's said to you, mm -hmm. what he has promised to you, he will do it. Hallelujah. What a great God we serve, and he seals it with his own blood. Mm -hmm. Ooh, there is so much on this table, but we have to let you go tonight so that you can continue to celebrate the Sabbath there in your home with your family. Enjoy the peace and the presence of God. Let me just remind you as we close that um, we have a new app available. So if you go to the app store, you can download the app, Wilbur Ministries. All of our videos are there, all the services, music and, and blogging and whatnot. Uh, a new CD that we just released called Selah. Wonderful for Shabbat. Put it on in your home, it's instrumental. 
You don't even have to be harassed by my singing. It just plays uh, wonderful instrumental music of ours and uh, it'll bless your home. It's available on iTunes and whatnot. So enjoy the Sabbath. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Nathan, you can do the Hebrew. Mm -hmm. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. And may the Lord lift up his countenance, turn his face toward you, even now, right now, and give you his peace. Yivarechecha Adonai v'yishmarecha, Ya'er Adonai panevelecha v'yichonecha, Isa Adonai panevelecha v'yasem lecha shalom, v'shem Yeshua HaMashiach, Sar Shalom, in the name of Jesus, our Messiah, the Prince of all peace. And the Lord of the Sabbath. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you for joining us today for Shabbat in Your Home. I hope you feel encouraged and blessed. We look forward to seeing you all next week. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope that the worship and the message were a great encouragement to you. We just wanted to let you know about an opportunity. You know, the way that we're uh, traveling and, and being able to raise awareness of the ministry and about the message of Messiah is usually through our travels. And only we can really do that is by love gifts from you. So during this season, while we're not out traveling, we are spending even more time than ever to get the message out virtually uh, to the world. And so we rely heavily on love gifts from you in order to bring that message out uh, to the nation. So we're asking you today, if you will join us, you can uh, be a world partner with us. You'll hear every month uh, from me and my dad. Uh, you'll also hear about the latest recordings and everything we're working on. And last but not least, if you're watching on the app, there's a real easy way to give. And the word is simply give. Imagine that. And if you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, the link will be right in the description of where you can go and to find more about the ministry and ways to give. And also on uh, IGTV, for all my people on Instagram, just simply go to our bio and there's a quick link that you can click there to find out more about us. We hope that you are blessed. May the Lord bless you and keep you tonight. In Yeshua's name, amen. God bless you guys.